What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for the Spider S&P 500 ETF trust with the ticket symbol SPY. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have another Sunday recap of the SPY and it looks like uh, since last Friday prices uh, found support at the 416 level and continue to push up higher. So again, these drawings are what I show my members. So that's why I'm not deleting them. I don't want to redraw them. But you can clearly see this is what I update on a daily basis in my top notch chartist membership. So I, I told them that, hey, there's a good chance that we, since we broke out and this one failed, but then we broke out again, that the second attempt will not fail and we, it's going to be successful. Uh, we just had to see that prices could not go any lower. So you can see that the sellers, the bulls broke out once, failed twice and failed while well, succeeded. So, okay. So the sellers failed to reverse once and they failed to reverse twice. So that was an indicator to the bulls that the sellers are weak and they could ride the price up to the first measure move target at the 425 level. You clearly see there was a nice upward uh, trajectory to this price action, making higher highs, higher lows. It is kind of weak. It's not really a strong uptrend, uh, but nonetheless, it's still moving up across the screen. Uh, so that's why um, it, this first target was reached at the 425 level and then the next target is at the 437 level so we'll see if we can continue to push up higher in this fashion it is getting a little um, overextended so we could see a very large uh, move down but again since it reached the first target and actually just pushed right through it like it didn't even exist it might be coming for the bigger one at the 436 437 level so that's basically what happened on the daily chart prices failed to get back below the 416 level so it, it confirmed it as support because there was two attempts uh, to get back below this 416 level that failed market moves in twos so that gives traders trust to do the opposite which is take a long so you clearly see that prices bounced off the 416 level nice green bar and then traders stopped out the shorts who thought the market was going to reverse and then they took their money price are pushing up higher first target hit we're kind of getting at the top of this yellow channel which can be acting as resistance but again we could also just push right through it especially the way we're going right now but we'll see Either way, price is trying to come for this 437 level. We'll see how it reacts at this channel. Uh, and then um, that could lead to a sell off or we just push right through it to reach the 437 level. But either way, um, I'm looking for higher price targets. This looks still kind of bullish. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart for the SPY. And again, um, consecutive weeks of green. You can see that there's a lot of green bars on this chart. Uh, very bullish. And you see that right when price sells off, buyers just buy it right back up. And that's why we're getting these long wicks on the bottom of the candles. So it's looking pretty bullish. I'd say, you know, it's probably going to stop out this right here at the 432 level. There's a bunch of short stops back up here. So it looks like they're probably going to be hit. And then probably that 437 level. However, is this a bull market? And we're going to continue moving up to all time highs. And we saw a bottom or we're we going to see another drop down lower. So me personally, there is a possibility to see another drop down lower. So you can see this channel uh, right over here. So if this channel uh, is drawn like this, which does fit against the price action pretty nicely, then that tells me that we can be expecting another drop down lower because after a channel break, you expect two pushes in the direction. So we saw one large push down and only one. So usually the market does a second one. So we should be expecting a second one once this upward correction is played out. So maybe once this 437 level is reached, we see another large drop down lower because the price is wanting to come back to this prior extreme in the downtrend at the 348 level. So that was the first attempt to reach it. We could be getting a second attempt once we reach these higher price levels. And that second attempt might come all the way back down to lows. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. However, if I draw the channel a little differently, maybe a little bit steeper, you could already see that we already had the kind of the second drop down. So this looks like the first drop right here. And then this could be the second one that failed. So again, it's, it's not convincing which one it is. I'm leaning more towards uh, the former, but it could be the latter. And if it's the latter, then once we reach these measure move targets, the higher one, and if we just see a small little correction, like it wants to just, you know, go up higher after this correction, meaning, it, you know, we just see two small legs down, still finds support at the 416 level, then that tells me that we probably did see a bottom and um, it, it was the sharper downtrend instead of the shallow one. And that means that we already saw the two legs down. Um, so the sellers, that's all they had uh, left and the, they gave up and the price just rallied higher. So we'll see. But as right now, 
you know, we're coming to an area where uh, we'll, we'll be much more sure of we if we've seen a bottom or not. So that's all I have for the SPY this week, Sunday, and I'll give you guys an update next week, Sunday. This is VTrades, and thank you for your time. The VTrades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.